As you've probably noticed, there are tons of holes in the skull. These are called foramen, which is the singular, and foramina, which is the plural. Through these holes, many important blood vessels and nerves pass through. Of course, we couldn't finish this tutorial without mentioning some of the most relevant foramina. Most foramina are located at the base of the skull. So we're going to look again at the images of the base of the skull, like this superior view, where you can find the first one, known as the optic canal. It is centrally located in the sphenoid bone, forming part of the middle cranial fossa. The optic nerve and the ophthalmic artery pass through the optic canal. In the middle cranial fossa, we find the superior orbital fissure. Lots of things pass through this structure, and they are the trochlea, abducens, ocular motor, and ophthalmic nerves, which are connected to vision and eye movement. Still in the middle cranial fossa, we can also find the foramen rotundum, where the maxillary nerve passes through, the foramen ovale, which is the opening for the mandibular nerve, and the carotid canal, which is the passage for the internal carotid artery. In the posterior cranial fossa, it is worth noting the largest opening in the skull, known as the foramen magnum. Here the brainstem leaves the skull and becomes the spinal cord. If you found this quick anatomy video helpful, you'll enjoy our video tutorials even more. Click on the button and you'll see what I mean. We have hundreds of videos available to our premium members, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles and atlas sections to solidify your knowledge. Click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.